Hello everyone, I'm Zeenat Fildos. I have Dr. Sukant Khurana here with me. He's a well-known entrepreneur, mentor, scientist, public speaker, and artist. Welcome, sir. Thank you very much for having me. So this series is about art and technology. And in the previous series session, we had a talk about new kind of realism. So that brings uh, Soviet art into my mind. Is that correct? Uh, yes and no. So I know realism, one of the branches of realism was indeed associated with Soviet uh, Union and socialism in general. Uh, there's been exactly opposite also. There's been capitalist realism by some famous German artists who painted the growth, the commercial activity. And then if you think of not realism, but pop art, and the Andy Warhol, the Art Factory project, right? So not all realism has Soviet roots. Realism can even be not just uh, about outward appearances. There can be several other aspects to it, right? Like in capitalist realism, there is obviously one should look up amazing work of Michael Schutzen, Mark Fisher, right? These guys were genuinely, you know, uh, along with, Sigma Polk, they were revolutionaries. So, but the idea of realism has emerged multiple times, even before there was any concept of Soviet Union. Um, if you think of, um, you know, even music, not just art, there have been several aspects of naturalistic movements in literature and theater. There's, uh, like in France, chanson realistic, right? Um, was a musical style that was mainly performed by women, right? Uh, and yeah, that that was there 30, not 30 actually, 30, almost 50 years before Soviet Union came into being, right? Uh, there is this idea of magic realism. In some ways, what we are suggesting uh, is the new realism is taking history, future, juxtaposition using AI, right, with the current reality to build aspirations, right? So it is combining in spirits of older knowledge, let's say if you were to do it in the spirit of Indian art, may not just even be modernism, could be even old Indian symbols, traditionalism of India, could be incorporating various principles and uh, so juxtaposing, superimposing on top of multiple layers of what you make us say postmodernism, right? They may you get you may even take in elements of fabulism or surrealism and bring it together essentially to create an effect. Because end of the day, what is art? Is it what art critiques call art or what art can make you aspire to do something fantastic? What is art if it cannot move you, right? What is art if it cannot make you cry? What is art if it cannot change you, right? Um, I am honestly not super elated with art for society or art for art's sake and all these discussions, but a weak art is rubbish art, right? A non-experimental art is craft. So can you create genuinely art and can you also create mass produce art and hence craft which is around society produced with new kind of realism. And it doesn't even have to be realism. It can be new kind of art, a novel synthesis, right? Novel synthesis has to be the broader art movement of which neorealism is a subset, right? And the idea is to use technology, every single media, every single art movement that has existed, every single permutation, combination of art movement that can exist, combine human creativity, merge it with artificial intelligence and create art that moves and art that transcends all these petty, narrow, academic descriptions of what is art. So I understand uh, what socialist realism you have in mind. Uh, I don't have that in mind. That's just a very small set of overall realism and realism is a small set of the overall new synthesis. I'm here to create a new synthesis of art a new synthesis of design, a new synthesis of living a new way of life. 
Yeah. Okay. So this was very insightful. Thank you, sir. Thank you for answering my question. <laughs>